This playthrough is rated T for teen. Alright, time to Subway Surfing. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. In the last episode, we found Anita's contact and found out that the subway is actually stuck in this, uh, um, you know, private club here. But luckily, we were able to get the uh, prince from the, uh, this guy's cup, and now we can go into the door by forcibly changing our fingerprints. So we got some James Bond stuff going on here. We also interacted with Brit typical British uh, uh, judicial system. Huh. Not much different from American ones, it seems like. Actually, you know, in American ones, you would get you would get ten years to life for like having a bit of a bit of pot in your hands, while a guy who sp uh, steals like a hundred million dollars gets a slap on the wrist. So, I almost prefer the British way. Anyway, let's check the metal There's plate. A thumb -sized in so we just needed the thumb. We didn't have to change all our hands. And wait for Forster to go overkill, huh? All right, what do we got here? Um, well, this ain't the subway, so well, let's check a few things. There's a thumb. Okay, we just click that to leave. It's a big box made of wood. Is it made of wood? That's too big and heavy to carry. I uh, would not with that attitude, Mr. Foster. It's made of thin chipboard. Yeah, not real wood, then. If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. Ah. I can't reach it from here. Well, obviously it's stand on the box, so... It's a solid wooden storage rack for wine bottles. Maybe we could try some of those bottles. Why not? No one's here. I'd never shift that in a thousand years. Well, it depends how much time you've got. Yeah, I'll stand on the box. Oop. Now what do we do? We broke it. Well, it's I different. certainly put my foot in it that time. You sure did. So. The box isn't strong enough to support me. Because it's chip wood, so... Alright, yeah, I can't support our uh, standard human weight, so how do we stand on it? Well, remember that bar we've had for the longest time? Well, now we can finally use it. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, no, not the... I meant the crate. Sorry. Alright, let's, uh... It's a solid piece of wood. Yeah, now we can put it on the thing. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Sorry, got a little ahead of myself. Yeah, now we can step on it. I mean, it's a little bit more durable. That's too big and heavy. Okay. It's disappointingly empty. Yeah, nothing inside. Oh, well. Alright, now we can stand on it. With the lid on top, it might bear my weight. Yeah, we didn't have to use the metal bar too often in this game. It seems like you'd think we would. You know, but... Too dark to see what's beyond the grill. The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. What do we do again? Metal bar for the win! I've punctured a hole in the grill. The grill is too... Yeah, so it looks like we couldn't even... Uh get it from the side, so we're going to have to do something else. So let's use the succatures uh, or succatures or whatever. So these are meant for plants, but if they're strong enough to cut through metal. At least through a grill anyway, because it's just thin metal pieces. So. There you go. can't see anything, but I can feel a breeze. Alright, so this point on, we cannot go back to any of the other previous places in the game. So this is a no turning back point. So, uh, let's go ahead and make a save there, uh, and just in case I need to, um, uh, in case I need to, uh, like, miss something or whatever, but yeah, we can't check, uh, we can't talk to anyone else, we can't grab anything else, whatever, this is it, so no going back. Whee! The subway, it's like a warren built by giant rabbits. Weirdly enough, we're actually not too far off from the end of the game, folks. <laughs> maybe a couple more episodes, maybe one or two at best. So. The roof of the tunnel must have collapsed. Yeah, overall, this game's actually pretty short for a, a, for a point-and-click adventure game. I'm never going to be able to shift all that. All right, well, don't even try. Do or do not, and so forth and so on. 
If this tunnel leads nowhere, I can always escape that way. You can't reach up there. Hmm, it's out of reach. Exactly. Well, I mean, we could try to shift all the rubble, I guess, to get maybe make a really, really poor foot spot, but yeah. We'll leave that for later, so. All right. We want to keep going uh, right multiple times. Don't want to get lost in this place. Let's see what else is here before we go back down that tunnel. Probably nothing really else to uh, check. The roof of the tunnel must have come. I'm never. Okay, no new dialogue. I was hoping there was something there. So, so uh, like this isn't where I'm supposed to go, but I thought eh, maybe there might be a little something extra I missed. Nope. Okay, wait, well, anyway. Let's go down this hallway here. All right. Yeah, subway obviously has been long since abandoned. You think with technology as is, you think they would have been able to keep up with it, but maybe there's a reason for them to abandon it. Yeah, there's a weird hole there. Yeah, there's a, so a socket as well. That appears to be a light socket. Hmm. We do have something to put in it, but why would we need to? Why would we need to do that? I mean, there's no no reason why we should put anything in that. Oops. I can't, couldn't see it. I'd better not put my fingers in that socket. I sure wonder if you could put something like a metal bar in there or something like that and get a response. Nah, I didn't think so. What's in the hole? What the? There's something in there. Something horrible. Uh, was it a giant rat or something? Yeah, it was a giant freaking scorpion. Holy crap. Yeah, it, uh, it took us out. Uh, let me see what happens. I checked the hole. Let me see. I mean, you still get killed either way, but... There's something... Okay, it's the same thing. Sorry for showing that again. <laughs> yeah, you die if you don't light, light up the hallway there, so... I guess you can't really inspect the hole, so... All right, well, anyway, yeah, we don't want to, uh... We don't. We want to put this light bulb in here so we can actually see our way. So, all right, let me, there we go. Yeah, I was trying. To, I was trying to get like highlighted, but all right, now we can actually see what we're doing. Because if we don't get eaten by the scorpion crab thingy, whatever it is, so all right. Whatever lives in there is scared of the light. Yeah. So we don't no get... way am I going in there. I'm trying to think of any, like, death scenes I've shown. I probably missed a couple over the course of the game, but I tried to show most of them anyway. They're not really, like, they're not like, um, uh, Quest for Glory or King's Quest, but, like, fun and silly. It's an they, old advertisement for Anchor Insurance. Where they make fun of you every I wonder time. if Anchor's grandfather was a complete zero, too. From zero to hero, Hercules. I'm not climbing up there just to get souvenirs. We could sell them, maybe. Who knows? Let's see, anything else? Oh, yeah, over there. It's the station's name. Museum. A museum, huh? I'm not climbing up there. Okay, we're saying the same thing. Okay. Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. Okay, so you want to make this fast, however... Yeah, you get crushed. <laughs> yeah, by if you just... Yeah, so a few of the in-game stuff is like almost back-to-back. -back. I should have saved after I put the light bulb in just to save me some time, but... <laughs> it's just, I don't know, this is something funny about like just someone get crushed like in a comical fashion like that. In real life, obviously, it's horrible, but... I don't know, sometimes in a video game, it's one of those cases where you're just like, you can't help but, like, chuckle at that. No, maybe I'm sick. Sick in the head. It's hard to say. Uh-oh, the tunnel... Okay, let's move down. Yeah, if you don't click it fast enough, you get, uh, crushed. We are, which I showed already, so... Okay, did not expect, uh, Cthulian veins to appear in a game like this. Yeah, this is kind of creepy, man. Yeah, it even has the sound of a heartbeat. 
That thing's alive. I wonder what it is. I don't know, man. It's warm and throbbing with a tough skin. Don't you like the term throbbing? There's no obvious way of opening it. Hmm. I can't slide it, push it, or pull it. All right. Should be a. Let's see. Where is the? Oh. oh. That was weird. Like my mouse went like crazy when I that ran That patch over. of plaster looks damp and crumbly. I can't quite reach it. Okay, so we have to find a way out of this room, but we have we can't open the door. So, back to metal bar again. I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. The mortar holding those bricks has crumbled away. I can't quite reach it. Yeah, all of a sudden the metal bar becomes super useful after like a certain point. It's really weird. So anyway, the mortar holding those bricks. Okay, let's use the metal bar again. Ow! <laughs> he doesn't actually say that either, but a good solid old brick. All right, let's take a look at that. The brick is standard size, regular shaped, dark red in color, and brick-like in every way. <laughs> I see. All right, now let's use a. Uh, let's see what happens when we use the metal bar on that. Uh, whoops. On this thing, see what happens. The skin's too thick to puncture. Ew. All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's one spot we can't use it on, the, or can use it on. Look at the this. outer skin is stretched and weakened. The skin's too tough to tear with my fingers. All right. Now we can use the metal bar on this thing. I mean, we could have used it before, but I want to show off what happens if you try using on the vein. It's penetrated the outer skin. I mean, crowbars really don't... Well, it depends if you sharpen those like little uh, grooves or whatever on it, but uh, I guess you just got maybe the angle on it, so... It's stuck in the vein, but hasn't pierced it completely. All right, let's see what happens when we pull it out. Yeah, huh. All right, well, it's... Uh, uh, since that didn't work, we need to uh, toughen the metal bar up, so the only thing we've got is something like this, so let's use it on the... Oops. Oh, right, I'm supposed to, uh, uh, sorry, I need to use this, put that back on there again. Sorry, I it's skipped penetrated. All right, now I need to use the brick on it to pound it into the thing. Ugh, I made a hole right through the vein. Ugh. Now it's... Yeah, yeah now it's stuck in there, but I grabbed it, so... Ugh, I made a hole right through the vein. What the... It's a medical robot. Oh, it's trying to heal this thing. There's no way of turning it off. Uh-oh. No. No. It okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's how... Yeah, apparently... This thing was like, uh... uh like, it was part of whatever the system is, so it was there to, to fix it, so... Yeah, yeah. If you don't, if it fixes it, you just do the same thing again. So it doesn't try to stop you. It doesn't operate manually. Yeah, where's this game going towards, man? There aren't any buttons to press. All of a sudden, we've gone from a kind of dystopian sci-fi to biotech type of science fiction, which is more high sci-fi than low sci-fi, which is what this game. I mean, this game has science technology, but there's different types of science fiction. There's like low science fiction, and high science fiction, depending on what you where you want to go so all right so this is a strange place indeed so let's go this way first all right what's this room here uh let's see uh looks like a fire pit or something like that okay let's take a look control unit grill metal bar it allows the heat to rise. Okay. The cover must regulate the heat from below. Oh, okay. So why do we need to mess it with this It holds the grill secure. There's probably a reason for us to mess with this. I can't. It allows the... Okay. It holds... I can't... Okay, so we can't reach that, so... Well, I know how to reach it, but... Uh, so, but... Uh, 
let's just keep going on. So I know what I need to do in this room, but I want to keep continuing on just to show. Yeah, what's in here? Anything else? Oh, there's a grill here. It's probably a ventilation grill. Maybe it ties into that one room. Fine progress. Primary growth phase is nearly complete. Hmm, what about that guy's another br perfect brother? Is that the guy we saw earlier, the android or whatever? Soon you'll be ripe for programming. I think he's supposed to be uh, have more of an Australian accent, but both and on towards in those ratings. Good, good, it's nearly there. No change there. Alright, I think he repeats. The absorption rate is rising as expected. Yeah, he didn't have any dialogue, so. Ah, the steaming stuff of life. So we got a tank, grill, nourishment for my little brothers. Computer, cylindrical, cylindrical tank. Exit. How are you looking healthy? You are looking healthy today. Keep fighting and growing, little one. So I'm saying if he says any more dialogue or whatever. Okay, I think he's repeating. So, okay. Let's see. Um, make a save here. Uh, uh, that should probably be more of a. Uh, yeah, we'll just save as that. So, okay. Yeah, more of these veins or whatever. So, crazy. Let's see what's in this room. It's probably a vent. Okay, yeah, let's look inside. Yeah, it's that robot that uh, fixes the place. I wonder if we could turn and put Joey into this thing. Let's keep looking around. Alright, anything else to interact with? Other so you got a slot. Ooh, slot open slot for perhaps our friend. Recharging unit. Let's take a look at that. That's where the medical robot gets its power. It's activated by the robot's presence. The slot gives access to an expansion port. I can't get my hand in there. So maybe Joey could be put in here. It's recharging itself at the power supply. There aren't any external switches. Yeah. Let's go in here. That one guy, maybe we can talk to him. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. Allow me to introduce myself. We've already met several times. I am known as Walter. And I am the future. You all look the same. You look like a corporate, like, big wit, uh, Like a corporate shill type of guy who works in a CEO's office or something like that, so... You're not human, are you? Now, whatever gave you that idea? I'm obviously not a machine. Or an animal. In fact, I differ little from you. Hmm. I mean, you look like me, I guess, but you act differently. You're talking of a future designed by Link? Certainly. It was not Link itself. Designed by your own fathers. Wait, did you say fathers? I only have a father. I wonder if that's maybe if fathers. Like it's his work. You know what I mean? What are Link's plans for the real humans? We are all members of the same family. We can coexist quite peacefully until they disappear through natural wastage. What do you mean natural wastage? Following the sterilization program. The old humans will slip quietly into extinction. But you need have no concern for the well-being of the human race. Or for the future, come to that. Since you have no future. What do you mean? Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, he kills you. So you have to, you basically have to do something before talking to him, otherwise he kills you at the end of your conversation, so. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to talk to him quite yet. Um, uh, but, let's see. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's keep, let's keep looking around. <clears throat> Now let's go into this room, see what, or see if we can do, enter anywhere else. I've got a hunch I'll need to open that. Oh, you, you don't say. No way of opening it. Hmm. They don't appear to do anything. They don't appear to do anything. Okay, so it's just a monitoring setup. Okay, so anyway, we need to, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see about using Joey inside this machine here, get him up and running. No, we can't, uh... Oh, maybe it didn't... Oh, I, I, I guess I must have used it on the droid. Not the... I could have swore it said slot when I said that, so... There we go. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational. And all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, termination is more than likely. Ah, well, we found that out through an old save, so... Are there any other humans in this area? Negative. What about the guy in the tank room? Negative. The technician is an android. I advise you to avoid contact with it. Are you really the Joey I grew up with? You don't sound like him. That is unavoidable. My shell has a limited syntactic processor. Oh well. At least you're not so argumentative. But that was what maybe I mean, yeah, he was annoying at the beginning, but that's what gave him personality, so. Stay close to me, Joey. But anyway, you actually want to send him into the tank room, but uh there we go. Let's see if he can scan stuff still, or if he has dialogue. Give me an analysis, nurse. My diagnostic program suggests a favorable condition. I think he says the same thing with everything now, unfortunately. Give me an analysis. My diagnostic program. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have any unique dialogue anymore. Give me an analysis. My... Which is kind of sad that he's... Give me an analysis. My diagnostic... It's favorable. Give me an analysis. My... Give me an analysis. My... Give me an anap my Okay, well anyway, I was just saying if there's any unique dialogue, so okay. So let's ask Joey to take a look at the tank room and see what's in there. I want you to check out the tank room. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything. Especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. Ha. Huh. Is he gonna go in there? Did he glitch out? Let me, uh... Let me leave and come back and see if there's anything in the grill room when you check it. Uh, oh, there he goes. I guess he was just... Uh, I think he was bugged out where, where we were standing at, so he wasn't moving or something like that, so... Yeah, it just takes a look around. There's no dialogue from him, so. Yeah, I guess, is he truly an android? Is he like, kind of like, uh, you know, a, a bio android? You know, the whole, it's got fleshy bits, but still programmed with, you know, computer-like intelligence or something like that. You know, like, a, I'm trying to think of a good example of that. I mean, there's some sci-fi that had robots that are have bio, bio-connective tissue or whatever. Now, Joey ran off, so. Is he going to come back in? Okay. All right, Joey. Give me the a report on the tanks tank contain room. developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. Yeah, I don't know why there's some uh, uh, why some lines of dialogue aren't voiced over others. It could be just like my version, or maybe just a glitch, and the the sound files weren't weren't uploaded or like I said maybe the emulation program I'm using is, is meth wonky or maybe they forgot to connect the sound file programs that's quite possible who knows back in the day 
Tell me about the growth tanks. Access to the growth tanks is not possible. Tell me about the computer. Access to the computer is denied. Tell me about the android. It is programmed to safeguard the developing androids. Is he dangerous? It's certainly stupid enough to constitute a threat. Yeah, we're talking like right in front of the door. <laughs> Tell me the, the tank thing. contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So without it, they'd die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. All right, we'll open it then. That will distract the android technician. All right, let's uh, see if we can uh, let's see if we can see this happen. He might have walked in too fast, so we'll see though. Because I missed out on doing this before when Joey went in and seared that the pipe in that one room way back at the beginning or whatever. Oh, he did it. Well, basically, he, like, you know, uh, uses his laser and and uh, messes with that. Now, as far as I'm aware of, you do have to do... There, The dialogue doesn't really change, and you still get your nap snapped if you if you just do that. You think that's enough, but you actually have to do something else as well. Um, oops, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, am I stuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. <laughs> I may have to... Uh, uh-oh, the, yeah, for some reason I can't move. Uh, maybe I could, uh, oh, yeah, I'm frozen. Let me, uh, switch back to that again. No, eh. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, there we go. Fix it. <laughs> Am I going too fast now? Okay. Yeah, I, I was, like, I was bugged. Like, uh, I couldn't move or anything with that, so... Okay, I need to go a little bit faster. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, for whatever reason, it was like Never not mind. moving or anything with that. So, okay. All right, but yeah, doing that is not enough. We have to do something else. So, yeah, now we have to actually go into the grill room and mess with that grate. So, I mean, we could have done this before. I just wanted to show. I just wanted to show myself getting killed by the uh, uh, by the dude. So. Okay, so how we do this is we mess with the control unit. As far as I'm aware of, I'll, well, I'll show you, but boosting temperature, uh, see it's incubation temperature control, current uh, mean temperature 93 degrees Celsius, boost temperature, reduce temperature. So all boost temperature does is it just opens it up. I, I could swore I read at one point that there was supposed to be a death scene here, but off screen, like the before. The must regulate the heat. But before I record this episode, I tried testing it to see if I could get it work, but I could never get I could never get Foster to get killed by this. Because there's supposed to be a... Like, he's... Uh, like, you know, you turned it down, and then you can stand on there. And I thought, oh, if we just stand here, maybe it'll get fricasseed or something like that. But then nothing happened. So, I wonder if... I could swear I remember seeing a death scene for this. So, I wonder if that's the original version. Like, way back before the simulation version. Or maybe it was never there, and I'm just... I, I'm having a Berenstein Bears uh, situation. You know what I mean? Because if you just take too long, it allows the heat to. Because if you just take too long, it holds the grill secure. He just stands there, like nothing happens. So, pulling the handle has loosened the grill. So heat will like you know fit through that thing. So yeah, I could stand here forever and nothing will happen. So I could I could really tell you if there was ever supposed to be a death scene there or not. Maybe if we uh, mess with the controls and turn it on, maybe boost it now. Nope, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I think that's... Yeah, since now that's loose, I think we're good to go, so... Alright. Alright, now we can uh, mess with the guy, so... Alright, let's... Uh... I'm making all these saves because basically we're almost at the end of the game. Like I said, we got like maybe one more episode to go, so. Now right, let's see if this works. Hello! Hang on, let's just skip through some of the dialogue. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans 1, androids nil. 
Because as far as I'm aware, if he just he just uh, steps over that and then goes to you, and then the same conversation happens. So it looks like the stuff that Lamb eats. But anyway, he makes like a scream, but it's like so abrupt or whatever. So uh, all right, let me step out of here really quick because. Uh, well, all right, looks like the android has been defeated, but we still have to find our way through this underground place. So what is the, uh, so what is that veiny thing there? What, why, are, why is Link trying to make all these androids? Who's controlling all this thing? Is our father really uh, in, in charge of this whole situation? Can we find out all the mysteries, avenge Anita's death, and save, uh, save this town and go back to the, uh, go back to the wasteland with ourselves intact? And, uh, and everything. We'll find out next time in the finale of Beneath a Steel Sky. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.